Greetings everybody, my name is Gavin King from the Academy of Chinese Swordsmanship. This is going to be a very different video to you normally see on this channel. Normally you see Rodeo Laosha doing cool stuff with swords. Uh, this video is going to all be about something that should, all things being equal, be launched next week to help you guys do really cool stuff with swords. Uh, you may not be aware, but um, you, Rodel Lausha goes around the world teaching groups such as my own school in the UK here. Um, but we don't just do that, we also run uh, an online school as well, teaching Chinese swordsmanship and via webinars to groups all over the world. Uh, we're about to launch something next week, which we've been working on for about six months now. Uh, if you're not followed our journey, we started during the pandemic when no one could train and we started running on small little online webinars which have grown into a full online system, a uh, full online platform with about 450 hours worth of content now. So we've pretty much broken the capacity that we've got on our current server. So what we've been doing is working to build a completely new platform that will cater for the huge amount of content that we've put in so um, that's what I want to show you today and um, I'll have to hold back my excitement because we generally think this is there's nothing out there in martial arts like this let alone swordsmanship so uh, let me give you a deep dive into what we do I'll give you a little tour of the uh, system this is about to be released as a beta to our members next week so if you're not already a member I'll talk to you about that at the end um, so let's dive in and see what we've got so uh, we'll do the boring bit first but actually there's a pretty good bit under the your uh, under your account which is it gives you kind of like a history of everything that you've been doing on the within the our learning portal we refer to this as the vault so uh, everything you've searched on everything you've watched so you can go back to a specific day and click on that and actually learn, um, pick up from where you've left off or recap on something or revise something. So this, even though it's not even nearly the most exciting bit, is a real game changer from our current platform. And you can also do all the other stuff that you would expect under a profile, like change your passwords, change profile pictures. This is where you do all your billing details. But that's the boring part. We won't spend too much time there. Uh, we run weekly webinars, so under the webinar schedule, this would just be where you'd be able to get all of the details of the upcoming webinars and the links and stuff. Please don't try logging on to these, these are all out of date now, so, um, but again, all boring admin stuff. For those of you who don't know, we've got a um, private Facebook group called Practical Chinese Swordsmanship, which is uh, dedicated to those of us who really want to excel in full contact Chinese swordplay. Uh, if you're not already a member of that, just go into Facebook, search for Practical Chinese Swordsmanship and come and join the group. It would be great to join you. This button here takes you to all the categories that are covered. Uh, that, uh, we've broken the webinars down. As I said, there's about 250 hours. I think if we go into all webinars, uh, oh, sorry, 146 hours and 22 minutes. That's just for the GN. We're also going to be adding in the new year, once this has been beta tested, we're also going to be adding Dao Fa, Miao Dao, Da Dao, and there's a couple of other little vaults that we've got to put up there which takes us out well over 350, 400 hours worth of content. So it really has been coming quite unmanageable within the current system, but that is pretty unwieldy. Um, this is where all of the latest webinars, so the weekends previous, and the, we do this a month, uh, a month in behind. So you don't have to go trawling through loads of vaults to and pages to find what was the latest thing that Rodel Lauscher or any of the apprentice students were teaching. You can see that here. And the really cool thing about this, if you notice under this honing the outside deflections, there's a little blue bar comes up just here. That's where you last was in the webinar. So not only does it, uh, it will take you back so you can go back to any webinar and it will pick up from where you've left off. Uh, this is a section where we're gonna put um, featured uh, playlists, um, featured lessons from the vaults. So the Gemfile Skills Path we'll touch on in a second. Um, 
there's Gemfile 101. This is going to be if you're completely new to Chinese swordsmanship and particularly Gemfile. This is a series of lessons and a little course we've put together that gets you over that initial hump. Sometimes one of the biggest barriers to entry for Chinese swordsmanship is just being able to know the basics and the confidence that comes from knowing how to hold the sword properly, how to grip it. We've got a whole playlist here of um, lessons, so there's nearly two hours worth of stuff just to give you the get you over that initial hump and give you a really good head start onto your Chinese sword path. Um, and then what's the third one? Uh, this is just a quick we're featuring at the moment when we launch because we want everybody who signs up to also come and join the um, Facebook community, which you don't have to be a member of the academy for, by the way. You can just come and join in with the discussions, and we talk about sword play, we talk about equipment. It's basically anyone, anything to do with full contact sword play. This is the group for you. So if that's what you're interested in, definitely come and hit us up and join into that group. Um, if you've been on Netflix, uh, you will have a continue watching section. This is going to be everything that you have watched in the past. And just like we were discussing earlier, it also takes you to the exact point. It remembers the point that you've got to within each lesson so you can pick up from where you left off straight away. So if you get a phone call while you're training, you can just pause the video, shut down your machine, go do your, whatever you've got to do, come back and jump straight back into the last part that you was working on. Uh, this bit I'm going to jump around a little bit. This is where we've broken down all of the categories. So as you saw, there's 150 odd hours of just for gen file. So that makes quite, um, if we go back into the all webinars, that makes quite a huge list to trawl through. It's just completely unmanageable really. But this is done in day order. So if you kind of wanted to just, you'd get an idea. This So th this is ordered chronologically from when it was uploaded into the platform. So there is a, some use for having this list, but it's going to be more dry, uh, nailing down into specific um, categories. So, for example, jumping into the basic cuts. One of the approaches that we use here at the academy is we do not teach a specific system. So, because uh, there's lots of different styles of Chinese swordsmanship, you may be coming from Bagua, you may be coming from a Xingyi Chuan, you may be coming from Tai Chi. Um, what we teach is from basic cuts upwards. So these basic cuts are universal to all systems of Chinese sword play. So from here, we teach you how to move. By learning this, this is basically the ABCs of your um, sword play. You can then use these that knowledge and experience that you're gaining from here to then start translating the cuts that are contained in your own systems forms. So that's the basic cuts and we also cover that far more in far more depth in the Gemfile skills path. The Gemfile skills path is a curriculum based on what Laosha has been teaching across uh, the globe for the past 20-30 years and it's a systematic step-by-step -step approach that takes you from either being a complete novice or being someone who only has forms work from and some maybe some partner drills to take to leading you into full contact free sword play so we're talking tournament level stuff here so really really exciting if you've only just got before I met like Rodel Lausha I'd done some forms work I'd done a lot of forms work I'd done some partner drills I really thought that I would be able to handle a full contact sword bout I went on to my first seminar and I got my butt kicked really badly so what we learned in the level one path is what I learned in the first couple of seminars that I was studied with Rodel Lausha so if you click on the skills path it takes you there's the link to the Gemfile 101 which really recommend anyone doing who's just completely new but the solo drills this is drills for each one of the basic cuts that you will find in they're pretty much universal to all systems of Chinese swords play or, or at least for the gem file uh, these are solo drills to really get the basics of each cut as we just previously mentioned these are the ABC's and then there's also partner drills 
that we um, that La Rodale Alsha teaches. These by the time you finish these basic drills, you'll have a pretty um, a pretty effective um, skill set to begin full contact sword play. So within like twenty odd lessons and um, a little bit of uh, time just grinding away at those drills, you'll be ready. For to start full contact sword play. Might not be everybody, but you'll be in a position to know how to. Each one of the skill path levels as well also has some short forms. These are taken from the Michuan, uh, the Michuan system, uh, the Yang style Tai Chi, Yang Tai Chi Jian forms, um, but they're not really specifically to teach Tai Chi style. Jian, they're to teach you how to decode form. So Lao Shu was taken small little chunks from each uh, from the form and broken them down to show you how to translate how stuff is taught in a form to how it applies to free contact sword play. So these are really really useful, and they, these are short little segments from the form that will be help you to be able to learn how to decode your own forms if you're not coming from the Jian, uh, the um, Tai Chi background. Um, so that's level one, which is basic cuts. The level two stuff, uh, running out of uh, clicks here. Oh, it's not wanting to go there, so I'll go back to the, um, there's also this little menu at the top. I go to the Tai Chi Jian, no, I want the, sword, the skills path, that's it. If we go to the level two, level two is all about double action cuts or double cuts. This is where, particularly it's kind of if you think about when you're doing uh, empty hand, we learn how to do a jab, we learn how to do a hook, we learn how to do a basic deflection, but Basically, once you start moving around with people, you realise that that single shot, pretty much everybody can can handle, and you have to use combinations. These are a start to. This is what we use to bridge that gap from the basic cuts to free sword play. It's double action cuts, so it's teaching timing and positions and if the Dui Feng does this, you do this, you do this, and it's a real good introduction to elevating your sword play from just basically cut, cut, cut. This is teaching us how to maneuver and get out of that kind of duality of attack and defense and the really getting into the um, free flow and working with the, the attacks and positions that your opponent gives you so really starts to get into the nuts and bolts of gem file so level two is all about the um, double action cuts of getting beyond just cut 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 and then the Dui Feng does this and we weave ourselves around so that's a really good drill again there's more forms to more very short segments of forms to help us to be able to translate forms into a um, there we go, into something that we can move from just fancy routines into real practical full contact free play. Once you get into the level three curriculum, this is where we develop what Laosha refers to as an adaptive hand. So this is really developing your hand skills. Quite often, uh, the lots of sword play that you're seeing online at the moment, you'll see people running in and out of each other, taking a swipe, running away. They haven't got the confidence to stand in close and use the skills, the deflections, set up the lines of attack. That's what we do within the, um, the level three curriculum. So there's lots and lots of drills here to be able to work between cuts and scenarios and learn to make our sword play very, very versatile, but an intuitive, instinctive level. Uh, once we then, oh, let's go back to the sword skills path. Once you get into your level four stuff, and uh, this is building on the work that we've done with building a very tight handwork, versatile cuts, very adaptive moving through. This is where we start looking at advanced level footwork. So how to maneuver to, exp to generate opportunities and how to respond to opportunities. And then the level five stuff is getting into advanced free play. So this is where uh, we look at 
creating scenarios, rhythm. So you look at like broken rhythm, being able to fight in the, from the passive position, from the um, taking, uh, from being able to deal with a, a Dweifung who is evading you. Uh, this really delves into advanced level sword play, but each level builds on systematically from one to the other. And this is pretty much Lausch's entire teaching plan from but when he turns up to teach with a completely new group through to what he's working with with the apprentice students and those aspiring teachers. So this is really, really powerful. And we've also got the entire Michuan form. So this is the, um, there are eight sections to this and each one, so just within the first section there is nearly five hours worth of content so we are really getting into the weeds with this not just learning a separate form but learning in depth how each part applies to each part each technique each principle works into full contact free play and that culminate in a series of videos uh, I've got to do the thumbnails on these so I apologize for these not coming up but each one works on how to apply sections from the form into full contact free play so that in itself is even if you're not a Tai Chi guy that really helps you dial into your own um, your own forms how to take out the lessons that these ancient masters from older times, how to how what they did in their forms, what they did. So that is a really I've thoroughly enjoyed going through the um, form here. Um, da da da. So so I don't go on too far. You can kind of figure out that each one of these sections is separate. So this is a drill section to go through. So these are training sessions that you can do at home. Um, there are partner drills in here, there are footwork drills, there are all of the short forms are just listed under this playlist. So that is pretty much the nuts and bolts of the layout of the form. But so already I think we've got something here that is unparalleled within the um, definitely within the sword world, but there's not really much within the martial arts world that is this in depth so you've got like 150 hours on their master level teaching so this is really really powerful but that isn't the real um, game changer I think this is so not only can you search on the title so if you look down here we've got a stepping drill so you could search on stepping drill four steps to half steps so if you typed in four steps up here I would expect most platforms to be able to give you all of the seminars that give you those um, all of the so this is just done on the title but if you look now it's also it's AI based it transcribes everything that was talked about within each webinar so if there was a concept that you wanted to work on you wasn't sure about you remember it was mentioned during a webinar you can't remember what it was you can go back and not only go back but it takes you to the exact precise place in each webinar that that yeah. con that yeah. let's just mute Laos you're out that concept was taken out so this for me both as a teacher and a practitioner of Chinese swordsmanship is really really useful so if I get asked a question by my students I can type in Da, 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 the answer so it'd be like footwork or whatever we've just typed in there I can go and I can go back and revise everything that was said um, this has been really really powerful I've been using I've been using this quite a bit in my own practice and going through the next stage to that is we are trying to train um, AI ourselves because by the time I've uploaded all of the content for both the Meow Dao, the Da Dao, the and Dao Fa, we're going to have about 400 hours, and the AI now is getting to the stage where it can learn everything. So you'll be able to go in there and ask it questions. Obviously, this is early days yet. This is where I'm seeing it going. You'll be able to go in and ask it a question like, how do I deal with someone coming together with a downward slash? And it will give you a brief answer and then tell you the points to go and 
uh, the webinars to go and watch to learn how to do this so I am really really excited about that but maybe you're not quite as much about that as me but I'm really technically geeky but as a sword geek as well um, this is I think going to be a game changer so I would thoroughly recommend you check this out if you're not a member of the Chinese Sword, uh, Sword Academy if you go to www.chinesesswordacademy.com there's a seven day free trial so you, if you wait towards the end of kind of like next week you'll be able to log on and hopefully if fingers crossed if it's all working you'll be able to get access to all of this um, and we this is just the start we're going to be written next year we are in 2024 we are going to be focusing on helping everybody develop their sword play going down to what equipment to buy how to set up your own groups we've got tournaments so this is our opening part of this and this is just the start of the journey to really ignite the Chinese sword community so I really hope you found that interesting and you're as excited about this as I am remember this is just the GN this is only about half of the content we've got so we're gonna get this launched and then we're gonna start putting in the Chinese longsword stuff we're gonna put in the saber and there's other courses that we've got to put up and there's other courses that we'll be putting together next year so we're uh, really interested. Let us know what you think in the comments. Come and join us on the Facebook group. And I really look forward to hopefully being able to cross blades with some of you in the very near future.